In this video, I'm going to show you how to drain and refill your transfer case in a Chevrolet or GMC full-size truck. Specifically, I'm working on an 07 LBZ Duramax. To perform this procedure, you will need 3 quarts of full synthetic 5W30 oil or ATF and a fluid pump. I'm using an inexpensive hand transfer pump. You also need an 18 millimeter short socket, 19 millimeter deep well socket, a socket wrench, and a drain pan. Underneath your truck and looking at the back of your transfer case, this is your drain, and this is your fill port. Although please keep watching because we will not be using this fill port today. Start by loosening your drain plug and allowing the old fluid to drain into your pan. Be prepared for fluid to hit your cross member and get messy. One of the leading reasons these transfer cases fail is due to oil starvation. By filling from the fill plug, you are only able to get two quarts into the transfer case. And over time, if not checked often, ATF has been known to evaporate. Let's face it, most of us don't perform fluid level checks at the recommended intervals on these trucks. So the general consensus is it's better to overfill your transfer case by a half quart to protect against this starvation issue. An extra half quart will not adversely affect your transfer case in any way. So we will fill this transfer case with two and a half quarts through the speed sensor and not through the fill port. Remove the speed sensor electrical connector by pressing the tab and pulling. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the sensor. This is plastic, so be careful not to exert too much force. If you have any difficulty removing it, you may choose not to overfill your transfer case and instead fill with only two quarts through the usual fill port. Just sit this somewhere safe. Install the drain plug. Be careful not to over tighten because the transfer case is made out of magnesium alloy and can be damaged if over tightened. At this point, we're ready to set up our pump. It will sit loosely in my oil bottle as I pump. While your owner's manual may specify using ATF, and it's not wrong to use that, an expert in the industry named Mike Weinberg, who writes for Transmission Digest and is president of Rockland Standard Gear, recommends using full synthetic 5W30 instead. 5W30 sheds heat better than ATF, and it is also more resistant to evaporation. If you perform a Google search, you'll find that many, many other truck owners have heeded his advice for years and thousands of miles, including me. I found my transfer case is also slightly quieter with this thicker oil. Whether you choose to use ATF or synthetic 5W30, fill your transfer case with two and a half quarts. Once filled, Reinstall the speed sensor. Snug it up. Reinstall the electrical connector and you're finished. Get in your truck and drive it to be sure it shifts into four-wheel drive easily. I need 1,000 subscribers in order to monetize my channel. So if this video helped you, return the favor please by clicking that subscribe button.